have. <laughs> we're happy to have you. Um, we're very happy to have you here at the chamber office. We're. This is the second year that we have had this format for our annual meeting, and I think we can say that this is a success because our members are invited. There's no charge. There's great networking and food and beverage, and that's what we want. We want everyone to feel comfortable with one another. Um, we're run by a board of directors, um, and those people put their heart and soul into the chamber, and we could not have the success that we have without our board of directors. Um, right now, I'd like to introduce some past presidents. Um, I, do you want to say what year? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you always start with the one who's the longest ago, and it's always me. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Stewart. Bob Stewart hired me um, 25 years ago. He was on the search committee that hired me. Thanks, Bob. Um, <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. And then we. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> Um, then we have Valerie Chase, who's now a past president. We have Tor Copperway, who's a past president. We want to thank each and every one of you. And again, they're the heart and soul of what we do here, and we couldn't do what we do without them. I'd like to thank Valerie for her two years as president. Val has done a lot for us. She picks up the slack when I can't make it to a ribbon cutting. Um, I call her in the morning and she's right there. So thank you very much. We have a little gift for Janet right behind there for Val. Thank oh, you, Val. Thank you. <laughs> so we have a two year presidency at the chamber. So we're very excited. Well, Val's gonna, she, I don't know if she knows she has a two year past president seat, but she knows she has at least one year past president seat. <laughs> And um, we're honored to have Nathan come in as our president. Nathan's from United Bank. He's the vice president at United Bank. He chairs our ambassador auction committee. Um, please see Nathan, Tora, myself, Janet, any of the board members for information about the auction. It's an, our largest fundraiser. We do it every other year. So we welcome you, Nathan. Um, we will try to be kind to you in the next two years. <laughs> He's and used to you. We're happy. <laughs> Not as used so, to you. I just wanted to say it is a privilege and it is my honor to follow in the footsteps of the many presidents that served this chamber before me. The few of you that are here. I applaud each and every one of you, including the one passing the gavel to me tonight, because you've had a great two years full of many accomplishments and it was all under, under your leadership. So let's have a round of applause yeah. for our outgoing. Thank you, Thank you. So I will honor the legacy before me and I promise to be a good steward of the resources and the mission entrusted to us by our many supporters, many of which are here tonight. Thank you very much. And I gladly accept the opportunity to serve the chamber in our mission as your newest president. Thank you. We have a wonderful group. We have a good time with everything that we do. Um, that's why, where's Mary? She keeps coming back. And people keep coming back because they have a good time, right, Mary? Right. Yeah, we, you know, we drink a little wine. We put the auction items together. So we, um, we call on our members for support for, for things like that. So we will be calling on you. And many of the businesses in Tallinn County are small businesses, and they work very hard at at the success of their business. And um, I'm very happy to introduce you to Chris Wardrobe, who chairs our Economic Development Committee. We're very happy to say that our chamber, which is one of only three county chambers in the state, we cover 13 towns, we have eight of our 13 towns represented on our Economic Development Committee. So that is a huge success. We call it just our strongest, um, really viable committee. Not that they all aren't, but th this committee um, soul searched and chose recipients for this award, and now Chris is going to present those. So all thank right. you. Chris is from USI. That's right. So as Candace said, uh, I'm Chris Wardrop, and I'm the chair of the Chamber Economic Development Committee. Uh, I happen to work at USI Insurance Services, and uh, I'm an insurance broker. I do a lot of risk management advisory work. And more importantly, uh, I'm very lucky because a number of chamber members are clients of ours. We get to help them, 
and it underscores some of the themes that I'll refer to, which are working together, helping each other out in what can be a really demanding or challenging economy right here in Connecticut, regionally, nationally, right? Just like our president, um, I also have some notes. I will read off them loosely, sometimes not, go off script. I never know what I'm even going to say, but I do know who the award winners are. So um, our committee in is great. We have committee members that are sprinkled all around, all around here. We get together sometimes monthly, sometimes bi-monthly, but we're passionate. We share ideas. I think of, where's Daisy? Right here. Daisy always attends, and, and I think about Bonnie, and I think about Dory, who was just here, but had to, had to go somewhere. Um, we're really passionate. We are really trying to help our current members to thrive. We want them to have more business. We want to see ways where we can break down some barriers. We saw one time where one of our members in one of our meetings talked to Eversource after Eversource said, I didn't realize you needed this. Do you know we can help you with this? It happened right in front of our eyes. And it was a way for this business to remove a roadblock and move forward. Um, these are tough times we're in, especially for small businesses. Um, this morning, you know, weird, quirky stories, but this morning I went through the roundabout in Ellington. A lot of people know where that is, you know, the ice cream place. I'm waiting as one of our award winners, Modern Milkman, the actual van, passes by me, and I'm thinking, the old, the new. Yeah. I kept going. I saw a Google Vision or Google car with the giant camera on the top go by on the other side. And it just made me think that we all have to be on our game. We all have to be connected. Because if we don't, we're not going to thrive. Okay? So that's really important. Um, we all know that we're in somewhat of a polarized world when it comes to politics. But we're working as a committee to help drive and push legislative efforts. Very, very important. Because sometimes the voices of the small to mid-sized businesses are not heard as well as some of the large businesses. So that's another thing that we do quite a bit. So we love this event because it allows us to give out awards. Giving out awards to companies, and it can be a privately owned company, it could be a not-for-profit, it could be a municipality. And that has been the case in the past. But these are nominees who they really have given their heart and soul to something. It could be helping the community, corporate citizenship. It can be economic development. They have really worked hard to grow, grow their employee count, take over new buildings, as I'll, I'll mention. Um, it can be beautification. I think about we have a local hospital that's done a lot of work. We have an assisted living center that's done a lot of work. So, we, and then lastly, we have best new business, and we have a, a, a we have a person, a small business that really has earned the right for that award as well. So. Um, our committee was really challenged this year. We were challenged because we had more nominees than we had awards. And so we made a decision, and there was some healthy dialogue, yes. right? <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Healthy dialogue. Um, but we really, really felt, and it was unanimous, we felt that it would be a good idea to not just say somebody who was nominated couldn't get it. And you'll know why once we give out these awards, OK? So without further ado, um, the first recipient is 360 Federal Credit Union for Beautification. And they're on their way. I think they got stuck in traffic. That's no problem, because if you guys know where Route 83 is, where Thrall Road is, yeah. it could take a half an hour to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously, though, um, how many people, show of hands, know exactly where that location is? Oh, we had a business after hours there. We had 42 <laughs> people, 42 or 44 people. It was. A bigger exactly. traffic jam. Yeah. <laughs> so, people who know what that location looked like before then might not want to raise their hand. It wasn't that great. But when you think about the combination of the investment they've made in that location, what it looks like, how welcoming they are, not just prospective and current you know, customers, but to have the chamber meeting there and really open. We really felt this is so easy. Mm -hmm. And so uh, 360 Federal Credit Union is our, our first um, award winner for beautification of the night. Uh, so we will wait for them to come back and wait. Give them a
Thank you, past president. <laughs> the next award winner, uh, and it's a, a company that I've worked with, I've worked with a number of these before personally, is Ray Page Plumbing. And I think we have an individual I know, because I saw the... Uh, corporate citizenship, okay? And Great Page Plumbing, they've been in business since 2007. Um, they've continued to grow. They continue to train employees, as they should. But just as important, some of the other things, and I'll just read from this, they give back to the community. I didn't realize how much until I read the actual application. Free pictures with Santa. Free haunted house. Involvement with Kids Safe Connecticut. How about this? The Strong Family Farm, okay? Which we know is garnering a lot of attention right in the center of, of Vernon. And then one of the biggest things, working with the Career Center at Rockville High School, which I think we all know that that's about as important as it gets. Maybe we can have kids, younger people, plant their roots, stay in the community, right? That becomes really, really important. They sponsor local children's sports teams, and I do a whole lot more. They have a great name. If you haven't worked with them in the past, give them a call. I can assure you, plumbing repairs are not inexpensive. You want to get people that do it right. <laughs> do it right. So thank you. Virtually everybody will, will recognize the name of Georgina's Restaurant oh, yes. and Banquets. And this is a dual award. This is both corporate citizenship as well as economic development. Come on down. How are you? How are you? Thank you so much for being here. I just feel bad. No, 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 no. Well, you want a picture first? I guess. All right. We'll get another one afterwards. So, if anybody rolled the clock back to 2005. You're on Route 44 in Bolton, and you're looking at that parcel of land, you're probably not seeing much. So when we talk about economic development, the investment into a facility that today is one of the best of its kind in our entire area in terms of having banquets, in terms of just the restaurant portion, that is, it's amazing what they've been able to do and how they've been able to sustain themselves in an industry that it's really tough to do, right? Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in Vernon since 68, so we've seen a lot of, you know, it's very difficult to sustain very that. Absolutely. So that's really important. But thanks, you know, thanks to the community, we've been growing and it's been phenomenal. We've been blessed by this community, so I just want to say thank you. Well, I will, um, he gave me the perfect segue to the, the reason for the other award, which is corporate citizenship. Think warming hands, warming hearts, right? Yes. The generosity right here and with Georgina's to host, to provide employees, to provide food, the hospitality, to allow for an incredibly successful event. Every year. Which raises money to help others is really the heart of the reason for that part of the award. It won't stop. It won't stop either. All right. <laughs> That's on camera. We have our evidence. So our next award, and I men, made mention of them before, but before I, before I name it, so a little quiz. When did Oak Ridge Dairy first start? Anybody have a guess what year? Oh, Lisa. <laughs> and if you already know, you can't say. Any ideas? Any ideas? 1826. No. A little bit early. A little bit early. Ellington was still incorporated at that point. It was actually 1890. Yeah, okay. that and is, and is that dairy farm the largest, right. second largest, or say third largest dairy farm in Connecticut? Anybody have an idea? Wait, say that again. Largest. I missed that. Largest dairy farm in Connecticut. Right in Ellington, Connecticut. Okay. So when you think about the amount of time they've actually been in business, you think about their size and the massive investment they've made in a state-of-the-art facility where somebody required me to say, Lisa, they are moving. <laughs> <laughs> that was
was designed to keep Lisa coming to meetings. <laughs> but, but seriously, though, um, we decided uh, there was a nomination, but it was an easy selection for, again, a dual award, both for Best New Business for the Modern Milkman, but also for Economic Development, which was kind of an easy softball toss because of how many people actually work there and how those employees are actually supporting the community. 354,000 square foot facility. Absolutely massive. You almost have to s stop your car to look as you're uh, going by there. Um, but just as important, um, earlier this year, Oak Ridge decided to create the modern milkman. Okay? And here you have a home delivery service, which has continued to expand. I saw the van this morning at the Ellington Roundabout. I know they're doing their deliveries. And it's it's innovative. It's old school, but it's modern. It's creativity that's really needed today to stand out, to really drive your business, to create your brand. And we really looked at that and we said, wow, here you have such a mix with so many attributes of a, of a successful business. And so we really felt that they deserved it. So I don't know if they're here. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Next on our list, oh, and, and again, it's an, I would say it's an organization, it's probably more an institution, um, but for beautification, uh, the award winner is Rockville General Hospital, which is part of ECHN and Prospect Medical. Right, oh, right next to me right here. <laughs> Many of you know that starting literally decades ago with Rockville General Hospital, but then with the support of ECHN, the investment that they've made in that facility, which is not a new facility, um, one that all three of my kids were actually born in one area and have a daughter who actually works in the hospital today. Even most recently, what they've done as part of Prospect Medical is to invest in the Maxwell Mansion. Um, they've renovated the inside of the mansion, brought the waiting room back up to its original grandeur. Uh, on the outside though, which is really important when you consider the people who actually need services inside the hospital, um, just from a positive emotional aspect, it's sprucing up landscaping. It's looking at the garden leading in. It's the whole experience that matters yeah. when you really need it. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, we really felt it was an easy award winner. So again, thank you for the support. Our next award winner, um, I'll just, again, a little audience participation quiz. Hashtag demand better solar. Anybody have an idea what business that actually is? You do. You got it, Earthlight Technologies. I know that because when I crossed over the Charter Oak Bridge just now, I saw that on the van right in front of me. Just like Modern Milkman, we got businesses that are on the move, and not just in our territory, but they're everywhere. Um, Earthlight Technologies has worked very, very hard for a long period of time to grow, and they really absolutely have grown. Um, I actually, I don't do business with Earthlight. I know Sam uh, and Tim Schneider, they've done a great job, but what I did is I, I read a little article in the paper where they were taking over the old Reminder Press building in Rockville. Why? because they're expanding. They need the square footage. And it shows a whole lot. I've gotten to know them a bit. I've, I know a few other people. And one of the things that's really nice is as their employee count keeps going up, think about the need of those employees to use some of the other chamber member businesses for different types of goods and services and whatnot. It's really important. So I um, really felt like Earthlight deserves some recognition. And for economic development, they received their award. Clearly, they're on the road with yeah. business, <laughs> so that's totally yeah. So our next, our next award winner for best new business, uh, and frankly, I would like to come up with a like best new name award would be Rocking My Sojo. Yeah. Who's with Rocking My Sojo? Are they here right now? Right. Oh, there you are. Oh, if you're right in front of me. That's great. Congratulations. So we've gone from. 
a large hospital as part of a hospital chain to kind of like the core of the chain, right? You have to start here to go there. And in this case, it's starting with a small used single needle sewing embroidery machine leading to, wait a minute, that's not enough, to a 10 needle embroidery machine. But wait a minute, that's not enough. And you're like, yeah, my head's spinning right now, right? Having to sell a motorcycle in order to keep going forward because of the flowing of customer orders and, and things like that, yeah. to at this point going to a, um, a 15, I have to read this, a 15 <laughs> needle commercial embroidery machine. That expanded the company to offer screen printing, helping with local sports teams, different types of retail, um, local farms, and other types of companies ranging in all types of sizes. And that really, when you think about it, is the American way. So it was Thank easy. You. And I have a sample, Andrew from Ray Pages here. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Our next uh, award recipient is the Ivy at Ellington for beautification. <laughs> if you'd like to come up, that'd be great. Does everybody know the Ivy? Yes. Oh, yeah. Isn't that amazing? They all do. Well, congratulations. Let's say a few words here. You're welcome. So, about two weeks ago, I'm picking up mums across at that farm, across from the Ivy, looking at it, and being from this area for a long time, you take yourself back and you think, okay, what are some of the trends that our, really our society has? What are the needs for those who might need better health care, better living? And when you think of the Ivy, I'm, I actually, like my head was spinning a little bit because I was thinking the massive investment to have a state-of-the-art location that also has spent a huge amount of money, not just inside, just on the outside and all the way to Route 83. And it's just the beginning. So the award is for beautification, but frankly, I think there are several other awards you probably have. You, you deserve to have that. We just didn't recognize them, but it's only the beginning, right? You think about not just the sidewalk, the wooden bridge that goes over that Belden Brook, but if you ever have a chance, slow it down a little bit and take a look and then continue to imagine month to month to month, it's going to keep growing, it's going to keep getting better. The facility will continue to grow. There will be more support. Um, we really felt that they're deserving, and so it maybe gets the next award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those were the eight award winners. I wanted to say we have 10 to 15 others, but everyone deserves an award that has a business or runs a not-for-profit or works at a municipality in our territory. It's a lot of work, it's good work, and we really thank you for all the support and clapping and, uh, and helping the members. Thank you very much. So I wanted to offer my congratulations to all the recipients. Um, it is a wonderful thing that you're in our chamber and we really appreciate your participation. I also want to thank Nathan as he takes over the reins and I'm sure he'll do a sparkling job. And um, this is sort of off the cuff so I don't have anything special to say, but I did want to say it is profitable to participate. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers.